All right, let's do it. Welcome back to another video. My name is Mario So, and today we'll be going over how you can create this trendy effect for your car videos or motorcycle videos. This type of shooting, this type of video who has been very trendy recently on Instagram Reels. We have a lot of speed ramps, but one thing that really sticks out is creating sort of like an emblem flip or logo flip for a car. And this is exactly what I'm going to do today. So stay tuned, follow along to know how to create this effect directly in Adobe After Effects. There's also many different ways of doing this. There's no one single way. This is the way that I do it. If you have an easier way to do it, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear about it. And before we continue, if you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button for more videos for me and the future. And if you're subscribed, thank you again so much for coming here again. All right, so let's get over onto After Effects. Okay, so I have Adobe After Effects opened up right here. I have created a composition. To create a composition, all you need to do is click on create a new composition. I have mine set to 23.976 frames per second. You can set it at 1920 by 1080, or you can set it in 4K depending on the footage you're working with. So I have mine here already. I just named it tutorial and have this video clip of this car that I had already speed ramped. Let me show you the previous version that I did of this effect just to show you what we'll be trying to create today. I'm going to just pre-compose this clip because this is the clip that I have already speed ramped. And if I go into time, enable time remapping, you'll be able to see the speed ramps that I have created. So let's go ahead, right click here and pre-compose this clip. Select move all attributes, move all attributes into the new composition and I'll say car speed ramped. After that, we'll select a point where we want that logo flip to happen. So maybe from about here to about here. So let's cut the clip, we'll split this layer. So Command Shift D or Control Shift D, you can also go into edit and select split layer. Actually, let me undo that. Before you do all of that, let's change the anchor point to the middle of the emblem of the logo. That's, that's going to be very important before we do that flip. So let's select the pan behind tool and then let's drag the anchor point to the middle of that logo. So now we can go ahead and split this layer. This is the part where it's gonna do the flip. So for organization purposes, we're going to rename our layers. So this would be car speed ramp beginning. This one will be car speed ramp end. And this is will be the emblem flip. Now that we have that, click on the emblem flip layer and let's create a mask around that emblem. So with the layer selected, go into ellipse tool and Let's draw a mask around that Mercedes-Benz logo. And I usually like to click the invert mask and just toggle it back and forth to see what I'm working with. I have a rough mask right here. What I'm going, what I'm going to do now is track that mask and create points, mask path, keyframe points. So before that, let's bring that to the beginning of the layer and toggle in and toggle on that keyframe for mask path. And after that, let's go to the right. Let's open this tracker and we can analyze it for something short like this. I usually like to go just frame by frame. So in order to do that, I can just click this button right here to analyze it frame by frame. And I can see how each frame does. And if I don't like what I'm seeing, I can always just adjust on the fly. So I think I did a pretty job of masking that. You can always fine tune it, but for this tutorial, we'll just keep it at that. What we're going to do now is Duplicate this layer that we have just masked. So click on this layer, Command or Control D, you duplicate it. And the one that has been duplicated, let's go and change the name to Emblem Background, for lack of a better name. What we're going to do now is toggle that mask open and invert that mask. Make sure that we now to put that layer behind the emblem flip mask. So what's gonna happen now, now is let's, if we toggle the emblem flip layer 
that's a mouthful. Emblem flip layer off. We have this hole that has been cut off, as you can see. And this is going to be important because we don't want to show that logo as the logo flips because the logo ideally looks like it has come out of that socket of that car and it's flipping and landing back into that car socket. Let's turn that back on. Now let's work with this layer, the emblem flip layer. Let's make it a 3D layer by clicking this button right here. And let's also turn on merge motion blur. And let's bring that to the beginning, hit the transform control menu, and let's play with maybe position, a little bit of scale, X rotation. Let's see what that does first. Let's just move our current time indicator a little bit forward and maybe let's add a rotation at about two times and let's see what that looks like. So that's looking pretty good already. So what we're going to do now is drag this one all the way, this end keyframe all the way to the end of that layer. Layer, 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 oh my gosh. Okay, so now let's add in a another keyframe for X rotation right here. And we'll keep that at zero zero so it's one time zero zero and we'll duplicate that again i want that to be about one for a little bit so it's sort of like it starts to flip and then it'll fall down back onto the car let's add a little bit of a scale over here about that much and let's add another keyframe over here and that just goes back to 100 so we'll change that scale back to 100 uh, let's increase that scale in the middle keyframe a little bit more. Maybe that. And maybe play with the position a little bit right there. And because we shifted that position, I have to copy this initial keyframe for position. So Command or Control V and go all the way to the end and paste that with Command or Control V. Sorry, Command and Control C to copy, Command Control V to paste. So that's looking pretty good. Pretty neat. You can finesse it a little bit more, but uh, we'll leave it at that for now. And let's select all of these keyframes, right click, and just select ECEs. So I want to do something else. Let's copy and paste this keyframe for scale. And then let's add another one here and paste it. So that adds sort of like a little bit of a pause as the logo flips up and comes out a little bit, it pauses a little before it goes back down. So that's the effect I wanna go for. So next, I'm going to introduce those Saber lights. So this is a free plugin from Video Copilot, I believe, um, that I have for After Effects. It's completely free. You can also go ahead and download it for yourself. I'll leave links in the description below to everything as usual, so you can go ahead and check it out. I won't be going over a huge amount of detail on how to use that plugin, so I'll be brushing through this real quickly. Andrew Kramer, I think that's his name, the one who created this plugin, he has a full tutorial on how to use this plugin. So in essence, you create a new solid, type saver, drag it into your solid. You'll adjust different settings, um, but I already have my settings adjusted, so I'll just drag that and copy it to this composition. So here I have my Saber effect. All I need to do now is just move it a little bit, maybe just move it up. So that it's good. Let's duplicate that. I'm um, again, Command D, and this will be Saber left, and this will be coming out from the other side. So now we have this second Saber selected. I mean, just going to flip it. So one easy way of doing it is just click on one end and flip it to the other side. And you have successfully flipped it. Now we will just adjust that rotation a little bit and the positioning a tiny bit. I want these layers to go behind that logo, the emblem. So we'll drag the emblem layer to the top. So that way, perfect. So that's pretty much it for this effect. One last thing I'm going to do is to add a little bit of a shake as soon as the emblem comes back down into the car. Right click, new adjustment layer, add this adjustment layer to be right at the top here. And let's cut this clip and get rid of that layer. What we'll do now is add a transform effect to that adjustment layer. And we'll just play a little bit with scale, position, rotation for a few frames. So once you are satisfied with your shake, you can play around with the exact position of it. And this is it. 
So that's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. You learned something new. If you haven't subscribed already, make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you're already subscribed, thank you again so much for being here and I'll see you next time.